Mayor Sly James and City Manager Troy Schulte unveiled the city's 2014 through 15 citizen satisfaction survey results during its salute to services last week. The survey shows that citizen satisfaction with the quality of city services is at an all-time high. It's now ranked at 60%. That's 7% above the average for Missouri and Kansas cities and 10% above the average for comparable U.S. cities. So joining me here today are five of our very best employees from various city departments representing all of the workers who work for this city and who've helped us achieve their significant citizen satisfaction improvements. So let's welcome Mike Husero. Uh, Mike is a utility manager for Kansas City Water Services and he helps ensure that water is safely transported to and from your home every day. Where's Mike? Is that you Mike? There you are. Good. So this year water services satisfaction went up 1.8 percent so Mike, thanks to you and all of the water workers, we really appreciate that very much. Now from the City Health Department is, say hi to Amy Roberts. Where are you, Amy? There you are. So Amy's a program manager who helps make Kansas City's children's and homes safer and healthier places to live, learn, and play. The quality of our health department went up 2.6%. So thank you, Amy, and everybody at the health department. So next we have Clarence Brown from Parks and Rec, the department that operates community centers, keeps parks and boulevards beautiful, attractive, and safe, but also the parks department is an integral, absolutely essential partner to Mayor's Nights, to Club KC, and to all the things we do to work with and program events for our youth of our city. The parks and rec satisfaction went up 2.2 percentage points. So Clarence, thanks to you and everybody in parks for serving our citizens. Now, Samuel and his co-workers patch potholes, maintain alleys, and uh, help with snow removal. So from Public Works, here's Samuel Foster, who's the District 2 labor leader. Uh, thank you very much, Samuel. There you are. Thank you. Very much. Thank you. All right. Meet Sergeant Michael Lenore uh, from the police department. Sergeant Lenore is among the many men and women who put their lives on the line to make Kansas City a safe and great place to live. Uh, this year, citizen satisfaction went up with the quality of our police services by three percentage points. So thank you, Sergeant Lenore. Thank you very much, brother. I want to thank everybody at the police department and all of our city departments for the dedication and work in delivering exceptional service. So please join me in congratulating all of these workers who represent the total group of workers in this city. One thing that I'll say is, is that none of these achievements would be possible but for the tremendous work of the people that work for this city every day. They come, they work, a lot of times in obscurity. They certainly hear about it when something goes wrong. But now we want to make sure that they know that we appreciate it when things are going right. So let me ask the city manager who's responsible for all the things that go wrong. Uh, to say a few words about what we're going to do to improve on these results again next year. Troy? Mayor, thank you. This city is uh, driven by the smart use of city data and citizen feedback. That's why this citizen survey is so important to us. The dedicated staff behind me today represent more than 4,400 of us who work to deliver city services 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days a year. The annual citizen satisfaction survey is the most important tool that we use to take a good look at how we're providing, uh, how services are rated by this city and what they need from their city government. This data provides us valuable input on what we're doing well and what needs improvement. It's used to improve processes and better allocate resources. This data is important that it indicates improvements across 34 categories but the areas showing a decline in satisfaction are also an important part of, make a part of Kansas City's story and how we work to do better. It's no secret that Kansas City's resources must be allocated strategically and very wisely. Our citizens have responded and they have told us that some services such as the airport and animal health, and, uh, animal health services such as animal control need our attention. And you've seen initiatives in those efforts already 
and those will continue. When citizens need us, we're here to listen. I'm proud to say that residents now have more, more ways than ever to access city services. You may have noticed the, the sweet little ride that the mayor and I pulled up in this morning. This little van is Kansas City's mobile 311 van, which we introduced a little earlier this year. And the van is to visit neighborhoods and community centers all over KC to provide a, a front door means of folks to uh, put in a service request. Uh, if they can't get it to us, we're gonna try to wait to get to them to make sure that they can interact with their city as they need to. We also accept requests for services through our city web website. We have a mobile app if you're you, a smartphone user, and we'll even take requests for city services through Twitter. A big thanks to all of our city, dedicated city staff who are with us each day to help residents reach the services they need and to deliver the, some of the best customer service in the nation. I'm proud of each and every one of those and the 4,400 men and women who they represent. This city's moving in the right direction and with all of us pulling together, we'll get there. So thank you very much. We're happy to answer any questions, but we just wanted to share the good news that we're seeing. Thanks guys, appreciate it.